All right, this is part two. We're gonna build the Luna Rover. This one does not have any building instructions, so you're gonna just have to watch me build it and hopefully you'll be successful. We've already built uh, number 16, the turning robot. And then we're gonna do two different attachments. One is gonna attach here to the socket and is gonna be the head. The other one is gonna attach to the ball here and is gonna be a plow. So we're gonna do the head first. We're gonna start with this gray piece with the hole cut out in the middle. On one side, we're gonna take a two by four brick. We're gonna take uh, two of our translucent, it doesn't matter what color, we'll, we'll use yellow, just following the building instructions kind of here. And then we're gonna take our little socket joint that's gonna go right here. On top of all of this, but still allowing that socket joint to stick out is gonna be this green plate. So when we sandwich it, you still want this exposed, but the rest of it is gonna be covered up like this. Now on the other side, we're gonna take two of our circles. Now this can be a little tricky, but as long as you kind of hold it and hold it so that the studs are all kind of matching, you'll be able to push them in. Again, if you're just kind of doing this, it's not gonna work. Make sure that you hold it, line up the studs so they match like what they're gonna cover and then push down. The eyes, you can put the eyes however you want. You can make them cross-eyed. You can make them curious looking in uh, one, one direction. I'm gonna kind of have them looking off to the side like this. All right, we're gonna take our length six, not the super long one that you use for Milo the Rover, the shorter one this time. We're gonna put both of the uh, ball joints on the end. One of them is gonna click in here, and then the other one's gonna click into our robot. And now we have uh, Luna's head is up here. Awesome, now it's time to do the plow. So we're gonna take our two long white pieces like this, and then on either side, on the ends, we're gonna put these green sloped pieces, and then inside of the green, we're gonna put our translucent blue sloped pieces like this, okay? Now it's gonna be a little wobbly, right? There's nothing kind of supporting them. So as soon as you get them on, let's flip them upside down and we're gonna put these smooth black pieces um, kind of towards the end. They don't go all the way at the very last, but you can kind of go one in just like that, okay? And that's gonna allow it kind of to travel smoothly. Now inside of the trans blue, we're gonna put these smaller green slope pieces so these will go inside, just like that. And then we're gonna do three um, of these cylindrical pieces inside. So one, two, three, just like this. All right, covering up all of these pieces are gonna be our orange pieces just like this, kind of going across. And then we have our um, little, uh, socket joint that's going right on top, and then this gets snapped into place just like that. So now we have a plow that we can kind of move around. We don't have a motor that does it, but we can kind of move it around a little bit. And then the last step is we're gonna kind of build some of these little um, pieces that are gonna be hanging out. So let's build this one. We're gonna take our slope pieces. We're gonna put them on the ends here like this. We're gonna take our little axle piece with the little axle hole and then this red thing sticking out. Who knows what this is? It's some kind of lunar rock, I guess. It's just hanging out. Some lunar trash. The next one, uh, on one side, we're going to have our uh, one by two light blue piece. Then we're going to put the one that has the little axle hole. On the other, we're going to take our two by four brick, go right down the center like this. We are going to uh, take our sloped, our gray slope pieces and just go, go across like this and like this, just going across. And then we have this green piece that's right here. Okay. All right, so that's it for the Luna Rover. Sorry, I had this extra piece because um, you can, if you want, extend the head out just a little bit further, but this piece isn't really necessary. So you've got these pieces right here. Now that you have the Luna Rover built, you can program the Luna Rover. Um, it's gonna be the same exact code that we did for um, 
the number 16 turn robot. It basically goes counterclockwise and then goes clockwise. And when it's going counterclockwise, this gets trapped and the wheel's moving forward. It has no choice but to move forward. And then when it goes counterclockwise, it lifts up like this and that wheel is still turning, but now that it's rotated, that wheel is gonna force it to turn to the side. So again, we are limited to forward motion and turning in one direction. But, you know, you can set up your little bit of space trash and then we can hit play, drive forward, turn, and there we go. We got Luna and Luna's got our, uh, our little bit of space debris. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're successful building Luna the Rover.